Welcome back everyone, it's Eric from Rare Candy. Here today we are back on PTCGO taking a look at a very interesting new card from Vivid Voltage and that is going to be Shiftry. And this deck was actually requested by one of our patrons, Chris Campbell over at patreon.com slash rarecandytcg. So big shout out to Chris and the rest of our patrons for their support, of course. Uh, but basically one of their perks is, depending on how much they pledge, they can actually request uh, decks for us to cover, other topics for us to cover on the channel. Chris wanted to see Shiftry, so that's what we got today. But before we get too deep into this video, guys, if you can, smack that like button. It genuinely really does help get this video out to more people on YouTube. And if you need any cards to complete this deck or any others, be sure to check out our friends at ptcgostore.com and use that coupon code RAREcandy at checkout to save yourself some money. And of course, Chris and the rest of our patrons also have their own exclusive discount code for an even bigger discount. But getting into the actual deck, if you guys aren't too familiar with the new Shiftry, it's a very interesting new one prize Pokemon that Vivid Voltage has given us. And it has this ability, Shifty Substitution. So as long as Shiftry is your active Pokemon, anytime your opponent plays a supporter, the effect of that card now becomes draw three cards, meaning that basically every time your opponent plays a boss's orders, professor's research, welder, they don't do their normal effects. They just basically get turned into a hop, which is a uh, usually much worse supporter than what your opponent would normally want to play. So I think this is really the thing that makes Shiftry such an interesting card is because this can just shut down so many engines. You know, going from discard your hand, draw seven, to just draw three is a big difference. Uh, especially, again, in the case of something like a Welder deck where they're relying on their supporter for energy acceleration, again, this draw three effect that we are forcing on our opponent is just very, very disruptive. And this is what we're kind of going to be building around today. Uh, if Shiftry does have an attack, it's a grass colorist for 110. And you may have your opponent switch their active with one of their bench Pokemon. So it's kind of an annoying attack. Sometimes the switch uh, can be good. Um, but this really isn't the strongest attack that we have here. Um, a lot of times Fan Tornado is just not strong enough to carry you through a lot of matchups. So that's why we are running the 2-2 Golisopod in the deck as well. Golisopod is a pretty cool one prize Pokemon uh, for just two colorless energy, just 30 plus 50 more for each of your opponent's Pokemon V and GX in play. So this is definitely a much heavier hitting attack that we have here to maybe clean up some knockouts and is usually going to be doing more than uh, Shiftry can. So yeah, Golisopod is just going to be kind of a backup attacker for us. And Smash Turn is also an attack we do have access to. We're not going to use it too much, but 70 and switch with one of your bench Pokemon. Actually not the worst thing in the world just because we have a good uh, wall Pokemon to switch into in the form of Shiftry. So you do have to kind of remember this attack, but usually it's not the real main one we're focusing in on. We also have a copy of Buzzmosa in this list, mainly for Beast Game GX. So if your opponent's Pokemon is knocked out by damage from this attack, you take one more prize card. It does have some other attacks which are okay as well, but Beast Game is really the main thing we're going to be looking at. Uh, Shiftry, like I mentioned, isn't going to be taking one hit knockouts, and Buzzmosa can come in sometimes and cheat you an extra prize, maybe to close out a game. So looking at this list, we have a copy of Mew. And one thing I really like about Mew here is because of Bench Barrier, your opponent can't play boss's orders to bring up your Dedenne or Oracorio that we have in this list, and they also can't snipe you with something like Kramer at B, uh, Tag Bolt GX on Picarom, etc. So it kind of forces your opponent to just constantly deal with your uh, Shifteries. Uh, bench or Psy Power is also a kind of a decent attack. Uh, we're only doing 110, so that is 10 shy of a knockout on things like Blacephalon, just as an example. So sometimes Psy Power can be kind of useful at cleaning up some knockouts in addition to um, Bench Barrier. Uh, but we have a cop couple copies of Oracorio, the Denny, of course, like I said. Uh, you know, these bench hitters are going to be safe. Uh, a lot of one prize decks don't have this luxury of being able to play these two prize support Pokemon. Uh, but again, since your opponent can't boss his orders most of the time, these guys are going to be safe on your bench. And of course, you guys, you can see we have the Coco Energy or Coco Prism Lightning Energy package in here just because Shiftry and Glycepod both have colorless energy in their attack cost. Now, another card I had in my list at one point here was Heracross, the better deal with ADP. Do you guys think we can beat Zossi Index with this? <laughs> no. Yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. Um, yeah, Shiftry, unfortunately, is going to be pretty bad against Zossian variants, which is probably one of the things that is going to keep this card in check from being like super broken for the moment. Um, but nevertheless, it's pretty decent against a lot of other things. And that's why we're just we're not going to bother with anything cute like Heracross or Latios GX or anything like that. We're just going to take the L's and beat the matchups that, that we're going to be good against. But 
A lot of the rest of the deck is going to be straightforward. We got some turf fields in here to better find our grass evolutions. Um, we have a couple copies of air balloon for free retreat. We have tool scrapper just in case of something like big charm or metal goggles, but more so big charm. I think that's going to be um, a bigger issue. I think we're going to lose to Zacian either way with this deck. So uh, mainly we're going to be good at removing those things that increase HP that keep them out of range of maybe like a one shot or a two shot sometimes. Um, but from there, guys, the rest of the list is pretty straightforward. Have kind of a weird energy count. I think that's the only other thing to really note. We got just a couple copies of Twin Energy because Glyspot can use those and Shiftry can also use them for its um, colorless attack cost. But the five grass energy should be plenty with our ordinary rod. And that is going to be the list we are going to be trying out for Shiftry. Like I said, if we run into Zacian on the ladder today, we're probably not going to do too good. But if we run into anything else, Shiftry might have a shot. So let's hop into some games and see how it's going to do. All right, so we are gonna see a fighting deck box. That actually might bode well for us. Uh, just because Colossal is gonna be weak to grass. Now if it's Phalanx, that actually could be a bit worse. I don't know if it's gonna be Phalanx, but if it's Phalanx, I feel like we're gonna lose because they can reduce our damage pretty significantly. <laughs> so I'm definitely curious to see what deck this is going to be. So, okay, going second, this honestly really is not a bad hand at all. So we have Quick Ball, we can toss our Lightning Energy away, probably just grabbing another C dot. We got our Turf Field, we got Marnie Air Balloon, all sorts of good stuff. Okay, so it's gonna be Colossal. I feel pretty good about this matchup that we have here, guys. Um, yeah, as long as we can just set up kind of decently, I think we're in a good shot, or in a good spot to maybe win this one. Uh, Glass Pod's definitely gonna be a good attacker in this matchup, uh, depending on how many Pokemon B they bench. It is curious to see if this is gonna be like a greens version or maybe like a version that is playing like Magneton or something like that as opposed to like heavy GXs and Vs. But we see a Crobat, so this might be a standard sort of research Marnie engine with the Denny's and Crobats, which would definitely be good for us. Okay, so it's definitely a good hand that we're gonna be leading with. So we're gonna quick ball, we'll toss away our lightning energy here. Um, so we can probably grab Probably a C dot, and we can communication maybe for a Wimpod. I don't hate that, or even Buzzmosa. Like, is there a world where we just go in with Buzzmosa and start jet punching? I don't hate that. I mean, that seems kind of risky, but um, no, let's not get too greedy with things. We'll just grab ourselves a C dot for the moment here. Uh, we'll communication, we'll get rid of our shiftry. Just grab a Wimpod, that should be good. Uh, now I do kind of want something to leave in the active spot to get knocked out in case of, um, in case they do evolve and have their VMAX ready to go. Okay, so this is actually a pretty solid uh, little hand that we have here. So we'll definitely get down a grass energy on CDOT, that seems good. I think from there, maybe we just leave a Wimpod active. Hmm. Or we could even leave a C dot active. I don't hate that either. Um, it's a little bit tough because I want to save this communication. Like I, I do want to just bench everything. Or maybe we do just bench everything and say screw it. Yeah, let's just do that. And I think I actually will leave the Wimpod active here for the moment. If they knock it out, that's fine. We have another one. If they leave it, that's also fine because we can maybe find Twin Energy and our Goliath Pod do some damage. But there's going to be a Marnie, so kind of glad I did play down our hand like this here. Okay, so there's going to be a Crushing Hammer. That's kind of an annoyance. Yeah, so we are definitely reliant on manual attachments. If our, if our opponent is playing like heavy uh, crushing hammers and things like that, that could be annoying. So our opponent is loading up their bench. That's the one good thing we have going for us. So right now that's what, with Glyce Pod 100, 230 minus the 40 here. So that should be a knockout. We can just find twin energy. We're gonna be in a good spot.
see it again. If they knock us out, I think we're okay. If not, that's also fine. We have Eric's Hospitality, so we can still come back from, from this hand here. Okay, another Colossal. Hey, I'm definitely cool with that. Man, especially if they whiff the KO too, that would be even better. Looks like they're a bit conflicted. Maybe they're deciding if they want to go for the eruption shot. Yeah, they went for the blind eruption shot and they did find the energy. So that's a bit of a bummer, but the good thing is our Oricorio is at least live now. That's sort of the the silver lining to this thing going down. So let's just go into Erica's hospitality. I don't want to play ordinary rod just yet. We don't have to. Okay, so we can just go yeah, rare candy down here on this guy. Do that. We'll do this right here. So we could just immediately go for Coco. I think we're actually kind of cool with that. I hate burning Coco for just a single energy, but I think there is a shot that they don't have the response here. So I think we're just going to, yeah, we're gonna communication this guy here. Go for tap Coco Prism Star. And we're gonna save our, we're gonna save our Ordinary Rod in case they do have the response on this next turn. We can get back our Golisopod line. So we'll just do this. And from there, we should be able to just nuke Colossal. Yeah, 520. So Glass Ball, you can really see how this can help you in like matchups where you need like a quick KO and Shiftery can't sort of uh, come through for you. So, okay, yeah, these are all really good prizes. Uh, Turf Field's especially good. That way we have our, um, we can get another Rare Candy Shiftery on this next turn. Now, if they do get the KO on us, we don't really have a great response for this next turn. There's Quick Ball. That makes me think, yeah, they have what they need to get the KO. I mean, either way, I still kind of feel good about the turn we just had. We still got like a free KO on this Colossal. And I think if we're ever able to just attack with Goliath's Pot again, we're just going to win. So we might even just use Shiftry to um, just chill. Like, just lock them from using Boss's Orders. And there's the Denny again. So yeah, our, yeah, if we ever set up this other Goliath's Pod, we're going to be smooth sailing. Now, I forget if our other Golisopod is in deck. Because I'm thinking, do we get back two Wind Pods or we just get back the one, or do we get back the one, one Golisopod? Okay, interesting. They are going to discard our energy. So, do they not have the attack? Oh, I mean, they did attach the recycle. Yeah, so they're not going to be able to attack here. I mean, that's pretty big, I, I hate to say for them. They're probably gonna need another hammer if they really want a shot at staying alive, because right now we can just nuke this thing. Oh, there's a crushing hammer. We need this to be tails. Oh, and they do get it, so. That's a little bit frustrating, but. So let's get down our turf field. I'm curious what we have in deck, like specifically for our Golisopod line. So we have our, our other Golisopod. Okay, so we can actually just Ordinary Rod this turn. I think that will be fine. So we'll just grab Nuzzly for the moment. We'll do this here. Uh, Rare Candy here. So we're still having kind of a decent turn. So from there, we're just going to Ordinary Rod We'll do both. We'll get our one wind pod and then probably just the two grass energy. The lightning energy really isn't relevant at this point. So we'll just do this, go for the Marnie and uh, hopefully we can get to a uh, wind pod or of course twin energy would be better. Okay, so this is actually a really good hand to work with. So we can quick ball for, we can just quick ball for the Dene and try to keep digging. So let's do that. 
So where is Dedenne? Ooh. Okay, we prized Dedenne. So I'm actually glad we didn't. Uh, yeah, I'm glad we did not leave <laughs> our hand without a supporter for next turn. So I think we'll just grab Oracoria preemptively. Just retreat into Shiftry. We'll attach here and just kind of sit on this hand. Like, I mean, they have to eventually knock out our Shiftry. Like they're not gonna deck us out, but whenever this thing gets knocked out, we're just gonna be able to win. So I think we're almost in kind of a checkmate scenario here. Like, if anything, I'm actually, like, kind of rooting for them to knock this out so we, we can just, like, hurry up and win. Um, but even if they don't, it's fine because we can just take an extra turn and try to find energy. Because there's a, a shot that we don't find energy off of this supporter. So that's fine. We'll leave that there. Um, we're just going to turf field. I don't think we're going to need this Nuzleaf. So we're just going to toss this thing at this point. Um, let's see. We can grab... Just grab another Wimpod. That's fine. Just in case they play something like Pokemon Catcher, uh, we want to be prepared for something like that. So we'll get down to Oracorio and just research. Okay, so we're just going to attach to our homie Golisopod over here. Um, and from there, just going to call it a day. So as soon as they knock us out, I mean, we got game here ready to go. Okay, we need to attack with something like Galarian Surfetch just to have a shot in this game. Because I think Surfetched is weak to Psychic, if I remember correctly. And I know they did play it because they, I think, communicationed it earlier. There's going to be a research. So <laughs> turning the research into a draw three feels pretty good. Um, so we shift three. Okay, yeah, there's the victory screen. It was kind of inevitable. It's kind of a checkmate scenario at that point. But yeah, so shift three going to take down the Colossal deck. Okay, we see a dragon deck box, so this might be our undoing here if this is ADP. Now, like, if they do play ADP, I shouldn't say it's, like, completely unwinnable, but, like, if they have to bench a ton of stuff, like, a couple, like, a Dedenne, Crobat, two Zossians, ADP, like, if they have a full bench of, like, Bs and GXs, there's a, like, a, a, there's a chance that Golisopod can kind of carry us. So choosing to start the C dot here just because um, if we start Wimpod, they could potentially play a little bit more conservatively, but I want them to dead a change, dig with Crobat, all sorts of stuff here. Maybe even play Mawile to sort of uh, try to get some of our Pokemon down. There's gonna be an Intrepid Sword. All right, so we're just going to I think there's a world where we just chill with this hand for the moment, to be honest, I have to say. So we'll just do this. And I think from there, I want to chill with this hand. We could have rammed for zero. I will point that out, but yeah, we're fine just sitting on this hand. So they do need water energy and switch still. That's something we do have to be mindful of here. Okay, so there's the water energy. There's no way they don't find the switch. You know, they're going to be playing four switch and probably an air balloon as well, maybe two. Oh, and just an intrepid sword. So this is where things can actually maybe get interesting for us. Okay, so rare candy shift tree. Um, so what do we do here? I think we probably just turf field quick ball for the Dene. Because I kind of want air balloon down. Um, yeah, let's just get rid of the calm here. OK, 
Okay, so we do have the Dene. Gonna get down our air balloon here on Wimpod and just dead a change. So we'll turf field, grab our Hummy Golisopod, and he is gonna be safe on our bench, which is definitely good. Uh, we do need to find an energy. I think we just go for research. I don't think we care about a shift tree and ordinary rod. They only need to take three knockouts to win, so more than likely the uh, loss of Pokemon really isn't going to affect us too much. Okay, so unfortunately we do have to get down a twin energy, but um, it's okay, I suppose. So we'll just do Quick Ball, probably for another Wimpod even, or maybe might hold it for Coco or something at some point. So we'll go for the Fan Tornado here. Uh, no, we don't want them to switch. We want to force them to find the switch or hard retreat themselves if they do need to. Okay, so they do have the switch, but guys, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I feel like it's it. The game is like basically over already. Like, really, to have a shot against ADP, we have to be doing. We have to be doing so much, and we don't even two shot Zacian, so that's the issue. So we're just gonna grab ourselves a Nuzzle here. Probably just calm for a Wimpod is probably okay. And I'm gonna save the quick ball in case we need like a Coco Prism sort of play, but I'm just gonna go for the Fan Tornado here. And we are gonna force them to switch back into Zacian, which is good. So they, that will allow them to like not uh, Metal Sauce or anything, which is good. So we're gonna do this. Okay, they are just gonna hard retreat, which feels bad. And then they can just, um, just an ultimate rate. So, I mean, we're having like a decent start here. I mean, they're not even playing supporters and we're still uh, gonna be in a bad spot. So, as I mean, their path to victory is like, it's not even clear if we're gonna have an attack this turn. And even if we do, I don't think that's going to really change anything, though. So we're just going to grab... Uh, Shiftry's fine. Get down or a Corio. Dance a Tribute. So, yeah, we're not even going to have an attack this turn. <laughs> so we're just going to give them the game, guys. Like I said, we lose even if we do have this attack. I don't think it changes anything. So we'll hit them with the well played. And this is why we're not bothering to tech for ADP or anything like that. It's just this is why uh, cards like Shiftry, unfortunately, are not that good currently. So we're going to give them the game. But just hold out hope for when ADP rotates, cards like this will have a better shot. Okay, so let's go and call the coin flip here, which we do win. So yeah, we would like to go first, try to get some of our basic setup. Okay, this is a uh, a workable hand, I would say. Unfortunately, we might end up dead changing away this ordinary rod, which feels bad, but there's a C dot. Okay, so I'm cool with that. Um, what do we want to get down this turn? That's the next question. So I think we attach here more than likely. Because if it gets knocked out, we can still Coco Prism it, but. Um, let's just quick ball, we'll get rid of the boss. I think what we're actually just gonna go for the, the dead A change here. So grab a Wimpod. Yeah, let's just do that. Now getting rid of the Wimpod, or getting the Wimpod while getting rid of Ordinary Rod does feel bad, I will say that.
We do have Oracorian deck. We have both Air Balloon. Other than prizing the Wimpod, I think we're okay because we have Mew in deck as well. So I think we'll just do this, Turf Field, and go for the Dead A change here. So Pikram on paper seems like it should be an okay matchup for us. Um, we'll do this, we will Turf Field here. Now, unfortunately our hand is not looking too good, but we do have this Glass Pod and Twin Energy, and that might sort of carry us uh, for the next turn or so if we do need to. We just need to avoid a turn one full blitz. I feel like it's it's harder for Pikram to get full blitz these days turn one without Thunder Mountain being in format, but it could definitely still happen. If that happens, we might be in bad shape. Unless they over bench and allow Glycepod to take a knockout. So we need what? If they have four bench Pokemon V, we should be able to get a knockout, right? Because only three would be 230, so. Yeah, we need them to bench a couple things. There's gonna be Coca Prism, so we, we wanna see probably a Dedenne, uh, Bolton, and Pikram, and a Choo Choo come down, I would imagine. So here is, looks like an energy switch hitting the discard. I'm definitely cool with that. That might save us from the, the turn one full blitz here. Choo Choo coming down, okay, so our damage is getting up there a little bit. Then we have one energy in the discard as well, which helps us. That means full blitz is less likely to happen. So they need to discard a second one. Because they need attachment here. Coco, E-Switch, E-Switch. And we'll see if it's gonna happen. Okay, there's the speed lightning. Okay, just to switch it looks like. So maybe they're thinking they don't have it and they're just gonna try to... Okay, there's Crobat. So Coco Prism does actually help them here. Okay, so we're good. If they actually do knock us out, I'm definitely on board with that because we can actually nuke Pikaram. Like, what I'm kind of hoping is they just go all in on this Pikaram, like full blitz, power this thing up, threaten Tag Bolt, and we just nuke it with Glycopod. Okay, so what do we do here? I actually kind of want to just knock this thing out. Can we do it? Let's see. So we got 230, or no, 280, right? So we'll go for the turf field here, grab another Nuzleaf. Yeah, I don't want to research all of this energy away. That's the thing I'm like kind of stressing about here. So we'll do this, just retreat. And from there, we're just gonna go for the... Yeah, we're just gonna go for the hard time slash knock out this Choo Choo. So we just need to knock out two tag teams to win, which is definitely doable. Uh, we might get Wimpod off of the prizes as well. Okay, we get Calm, Quick Ball, and uh, another Calm. So unfortunately, we did whiff the Wimpod. We are gonna have to probably just carry this game with our Okay, there's gonna be a Marnie. I'm actually like kind of okay with that, not having to, to get rid of two energies. But at the same time, our hand was actually kind of good because we could grab Coco and Shift Tree. So yeah, actually probably would have liked to have kept that hand. There's Reset Stand. I'm cool with that too, not having to get rid of the Shift Tree. Or I'm sorry, the Glass Pod. So there's gonna be the Knockout. So they're gonna power up this thing all the way, but we're gonna grab our Mew to make sure that they can't uh, knock us out. So we're just gonna promote probably the C dot for the moment. Or there is a world where we might attack with Nuzleaf to 
to three shot this peak rom because one ten plus one ten 220 that's a little bit shy so we might actually need to do this so i'll promote this for the moment here okay so that's good to get um we can i think we're just gonna calm I'm gonna put c dot back in deck here grab or choreo Probably want to turf field first, that way we can find a supporter. Just grab a shiftry for the moment. Get this down. And I do, I think we want to... I would like to burn Coco, but at the same time, I don't know if we're gonna have that luxury. So I want to Erica to try to find a lightning energy first before we do anything else. Um, or actually, we could just do this for the moment because that would allow us to still play Erica. Because we definitely want to, I think, just wall with Shiftry for a turn. I think that's fine. But then we can play Erica. Now, unfortunately, we do not get what we wanted here. So we'll get down Mew. Um, probably just Quick Ball preemptively, maybe. Probably get rid of Turfield because if they play Swell. Yeah, if they ever play swell, we're gonna be in a bad spot anyway, so. And I think we're just gonna chill with this hand for the moment, because we could calm for shift three, but there's no point just yet, because it doesn't technically thin the deck. So I think we're just gonna do this here. Um, that way we can evolve into shift three next turn. And I think from there, we just pass over to our opponent. So prizing our other win pod definitely is a bit unfortunate here, but I'd imagine more than likely we'll see them retreat into Bolton and just try to attack with that. That's probably their best attacker right now. Okay, so there's gonna be a Marnie drawing them a couple cards. Yeah, there's the Swell. So that's why I didn't mind getting rid of our Turf Field because if they played the Swell, either way, our Stadium would be useless. There's Crushing Hammer. Okay, so that's definitely good. We need to be able to get off this attack on this next turn here. And just a full Blitz, okay. So short, we'll just promote this guy. We have our Orcorio as well. So go for the Dance of Tribute. Okay, so we can work with this. I suppose what we get rid of. I kind of want to keep everything we have, to be honest. Um, yeah, I think we just calm the Nuzzly back for the moment. Grab Shiftry. Go for the rare candy here. And from there, just kind of sit on this hand. We can go for the fan tornado. 
So we could force our opponent to switch, but I don't want them to. Um, if they want to retreat this Pikram, I want them to hard retreat this energy. I don't want to do that for them. So we're going to leave this thing in the active. I really don't think we have enough gas in our deck to actually win by knocking out two, two Freezers. I think our win condition is just knocking out Pikram and that being the end of it. Um, so another thing we can do is if we hit Pikram for 110 yet again, um, you can actually come and finish off our Math Force 2 if we don't want to do that with Nuzzle. Because we're actually probably going to need to evolve this Nuz Nuzzle on the next turn. And we still have a good bit of supporters, even though we've been in a bit of a supporter drought right now. Okay, there's going to be a Cherish Ball, so maybe another Peak Rob to accelerate energy too. We'll have to see. Okay, Mew to Mew. That's fine. There's going to be the switch into Bolton, I would assume. Okay, just going to go for the Bolt Storm. So I'll just go for the Dance of Tribute here. So. We actually can attack Pikram again. Because we can calm for the Shiftry, Quick Ball for the Coca Prism, and Gust him. So I think that's what we're gonna have to do here. It's gonna be It's gonna be a close one, guys. So we're definitely gonna do this. Also, Buzzmosa could end up finishing off this, this match too. So we're just going to quick ball. We don't need rare candy anymore at this point. We're out of gas when it comes to shift trees just in general. So we're going to go for the cocoa. Um, probably do. I think we only have one lightning. Yeah. So we're going to have to just have the one lightning on shift tree. That's fine. We'll do this. Bring up this guy. And then next turn, if we just get an energy, we can win with Mew. Um, so we're just going to sit on this hand for the moment, save the tool scrapper for sure as well, because if they do do get down big charm, uh, no, we don't want them to switch. So if they do get down big charm, uh, we can still remove that and still win ideally. We just need to hit energy off of this Oracordia, but we have been through a good bit. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. We only have, I think, five left in deck. Now, if they can power up Vicavolt, that would be annoying. There's big charm. So good thing we do have the scrapper. Moment of truth though, it's gonna be a big three cards. We haven't found a draw supporter in a while, so that's one thing that could go our way as well. We could hit a draw supporter here if we don't find the energy. Okay, so dance tribute, what do we have? Okay, so we'll just get down CDOT, um, Buzzmosa, that's fine. Um, Air Balloon, Tool Scrapper, this thing. And we just need any energy, literally any energy. We've seen, what, eight cards total here? And we do get there. So Mew's gonna be able to save the day for us, just barely. I think things would have been a lot smoother if we didn't prize that other Wimpod, but um, we still managed to pull it off. Yeah, and we just get the victory screen. So taking down Big Bad Pikaron with uh, our janky Shiftry deck we have here today. Alrighty guys, that's gonna wrap up our look here at the Shiftry deck today. I think you guys can see by the games that we played today, things kind of worked out kind of the way I outlined at the beginning of this deck profile at the beginning of the video, where, yeah, we're gonna have a rough time against ADP. I think that's just kind of the nature of the beast until that thing rotates over the summer, thank God. Um, but against a lot of other things, you genuinely do have a shot between the supporter lock, I guess it's kind of like a soft lock, and then the heavy hitting output of Golisopod, 
uh, to clean up some KOs. I think Shiftry still can do okay against a lot of other things. So feel free to try it out, ruin some people's days with it here on PTCGO. And again, just a big shout out to Chris for requesting this deck and to the rest of our patrons for supporting this channel. But that's gonna wrap up things today, guys. If you did enjoy today's content, smack that like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you can, support this channel by becoming a patron at patreon.com slash rarecandytcg or by picking up some merch from our online store at rarecandytcg.com. It would mean a lot. But as always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.